in the previous video i have described the simons problem and also presented uh, two classical solutions to that problem the time complexity of the classical solutions is exponential in this video i, I will draw a quantum circuit that solves simons problem in polynomial time and i will do all the mathematics behind that quantum circuit so let's start i have drawn the quantum circuit that solves the simons problem in polynomial time uh, furthermore i have also uh, marked different stages of this circuit we will analyze each stage and we'll see how the input is transformed at each stage the output of the first stage will be cat psi1 and cat psi1 will be equals to uh, two n bit registers whereas the first register will be equals to uh, cat0 and the second register will also be equals to cat0 so both register are initialized with cat0 in the second stage we apply hadamard gate uh, on the first register so we apply hadamard gate on the contents of first register thus creating a uh, equal superposition of all possible strings of length n in the first register Recall that in Simon's problem we have a function f. That function f is a two-to-one function, and the function f uh, takes n bit string as input, and it produces uh, n bits outputs. We want to use this function f in our quantum circuit. However, this function f is not unitary, and in the quantum circuit, uh, everything used must be unitary. Therefore, we have to write a unitary wrapper uh, above that function. We call that wrapper BF. The unitary wrapper of function f uh, takes uh, two registers as input. Uh, we call first register register x, and we call second register as register y. Both of those registers are n bits long. So the output of this uh, unitary wrapper is register x as it is, and exclusive or of um, uh, y uh, with the outcome of the function f x. But in our case, uh, y is equals to zero, so y is at zero. And then uh, cat zero when exclusive or with f x we get the outcome equals to f x. So based upon this, we can now write the outcome of the third stage, that is uh, cat psi three. But in this case, uh, the function b f does not take some specific x, but takes superposition of all possible inputs. Therefore, our outcome will also be superposition of all possible inputs and their corresponding values for f x. So, our cat psi three is equal superposition of all the inputs and corresponding outputs of function f. Now we measure the second register, and our measurement reveals that the second register has value of f z. Then, after measurement, the second register will no more in superposition, 
but it will have a pure state of fz. So in CATSI4, the second register will be in pure state of fz. After measurement, the content of the first register will also change. Now the first register will not have superposition of all the possible inputs. Instead, the first register will have superposition of inputs that can produce fz. And we know that the function f is a 2 to 1 function. Therefore, the first register will have equal superpositions of two inputs that can produce output fz. So the first register will have superposition of z and z exclusive r with s and this will be equal superposition. In the fifth stage that is in CATSI5, we have to apply a Hadamard gate on the first register while keeping the second register untouched. So our CATSI5 is Hadamard gate on the first register. while keeping the second register untouched. When Hadamard gate is applied on uh, any uh, n qubits x, so the formula is as follows. I apply Hadamard gates on some generic input x and my answer will be equal superpositions of uh, string uh, y, where y is all possibilities of uh, n bits uh, binary digits. And my sign of uh, amplitude depends upon a value of y and input x. So we will use this formula to expand cat5. Hence cat5 using this formula will be equals to uh, 1 over uh, square root of 2 raised to power n also 1 over 2 because of this one and I will have here y minus 1 raised to power y dot z and y uh, plus y minus 1 raised to power y dot uh, z exclusive or with s. This might look like scary, but this is just application of this formula on this input. And uh, we have ignored the second register. So this register is not written again. Only I have applied Hadamard gate on the first register. We can simplify it even further by 1 over 2 n plus 1 and here y 1 n minus 1 y dot z plus minus 1 uh, y dot z exclusive or with uh, y dot s and get y. So just some simple simplifications and I can take uh, minus 1 raised to power y dot z common. So I will get minus 1 y dot z is common 1 plus minus 1 raised to power uh, y dot s because uh, y dot z is common times get y. 
Now here we have two cases. Case one. That y dot s is equals to one. When y dot s is equals to one, then the amplitude of cat y will become zero because this term will become equals to minus one, and one plus minus one will be zero. Therefore, the amplitude of cat y will become zero. That means uh, that probability that y dot s is equals to one is zero because that amplitude is zero. So probability of y dot s is equals to one is zero. So this case can never occur. We have a uh, case two. In case two, uh, y dot s is equals to zero, and when y dot s will be, is equals to zero, then this will become one, and Uh, this term will become equals to two. So, in summary, case one can never exist. So, case one where y dot s is equals to one can never exist. Because in that case, our amplitude becomes zero. Thus, the probability of this case is zero. And case two, where the value of uh, y dot s is equals to zero, always occur at the end of the circuit. And uh, at the end of the circuit, uh, we get equal superposition of all possible values of y. Two raised to power n minus one. If we can run this circuit multiple times, and then collect uh, n minus one linearly independent y values. So our goal can be to collect n minus one linearly independent values of y. Afterwards, using system of linear equations. We can solve uh, y dot s for s. So we have n minus one y's and uh, s unknown, and we can solve system linear equations uh, for s. Uh, let's do a concrete example to make everything crystal clear. 